back for another Lego set review, and today we're reviewing the Lego Spider-Man Far From Home minifigure pack with 49 pieces, 3 minifigures, and yeah, this is ages 8 and older, set 40343. I don't know why it's ages 8 and older, it should be like ages 3 and older, if we're being honest. There's not that much complex pieces, but anyways guys, let's get on to the review. Cool Dude 64 presents Lego Spider-Man Far From Home minifigure pack. So in this minifigure pack, we have Spider-Man, Ned, and Maria Hill. My favorite figure is Ned, just saying. Um, anyways, we have the drone statue uh, thing. Statue, stat, no. Night statue is what I meant to say. Uh, jewelry case, pizza, alternate Spider-Man face, and alternate faces for these two. So yeah, um, first figure we have here is Spider-Man. Uh, it's just Spider-Man in his blue and red suit right here. Missed opportunity to put him in his black and red suit. That's one of my favorite suits probably because of its origin. Um, and also because I just like the colors. But the Spider-Man comes with this web thing. And, um, I actually kind of needed this suit because I lost my other one, so silly goose me. But, uh, anyways, I, I honestly don't know where they are, though. Kind of remainders, but, <laughs> anyways, uh, I really like the printing for this figure. It is still one of my favorite figures. But, you know, just missed opportunity not to put in the black and red suit. I think you really just need to paint it with, like, black Sharpie. Uh, and then there's also an alternate version where, you know, instead of him being, like, Spider-Man, you could have Spider-Man eating a pizza. Which I got, guess that's, like, an inclusion, but, like, you know, if this is all they wanted to include. Like, you know, make it at least a black and red suit. Take out this Spider-Man and put in Flash. Flash is just the best. And I'm talking about Flash from the Spider-Man movie, not Superhero Flash. Anyways, now on to Ned. Uh, here's Ned. He comes with that hair piece from the Harry Potter. And I don't have anything against this figure. He's just Ned. Next figure we have... No, I'm just joking. But Ned has, um, this smirking face. And then he has this, like, what the frick, dude, face. Um, and... Yeah, uh, I do like his haircut. It's good. He has a cool jacket. Makes sense with the character as Ned. Uh, you know, th that's Ned. Um, this is probably the closest we're going to get to Ned in Lego. So, uh, be happy. If you're not happy, I don't know what's gonna make you happy. I guess you could also use this, like, torso for, like, a custom Star-Lord if you will, at least I really like that blue for it. So yeah, next figure we have Maria Hill. And I'm not really sure why we needed a Maria Hill. Again, we could have used this opportunity to put in characters like Flash. Because we already have Maria Hill and Lego. And like, I could probably make this out of spare pieces, if we're being honest. I could just need the blue pants. You need Bruce Banner's jacket. Just any girl face you can find in this. But, you know, at least it kind of makes sense. Um, to put in Maria Hill. But, like, you know, there's so many characters you could put instead. That I, I don't understand why she was chosen. Like, you know, characters that actually matter to the plot. Not just Nick Fury's sidekick. And don't at me that Ned is not important to the plot. Ned is super important to the plot. Ned should be the main character of Spider-Man 3. And if he's not, I'm going to stop watching more. Anyways, yeah, sorry about that. Ned lives matter too. Anyways, um, so yeah, I do like the figure besides the, what I was just saying. Uh, she has this, like, what the frick face. And then she has this hey face. Like if you got that into the Spider-Verse reference. Anyways. Um, yeah, not much to say. Just, I guess that's a nice usage of Bruce Banner's jacket. You're probably going to be using that, like, times 50 more for other sets. 
And also, I did see Marvel Phase 4, if you're wondering, and I'll do a separate video on that later. Anyways, now I'm turn, now time for the bills. Uh, here we have this jewelry case. It's just a case, and then there's jewelry inside. Not much going on there. Probably my favorite figure in the set. No, I'm sure. This is not a minifigure. Anyways. Uh, here we go. We have this knight statue. It has a knight helmet. You could put that on and off. I actually like this. It's good for what it is. But you want to make sure it's on or else it's just wobbling around. You want to, like, push it down. And, yeah. So, it is a pretty cool knight statue. Maybe you should have arms, though. I don't know. Just saying. Uh, here we... Here we have the drone, which actually is a pretty important thing to the movie. If anything, he's probably the most important character in the movie. No, shit. Again, he's not a character. Uh, but anyways, uh, if, the drones are actually pretty important. So if you were wondering, like, if you were wondering, like, what the frick are these drones? Well, sorry, I actually knew what I was going to say. But anyways, if you were wondering, like, what the frick are these drones for? Then, uh, yeah, these drones are actually pretty important to the movie. Uh, it's part of a certain bad guy's plan that I'm not gonna say, because spoilers. But yeah, the drones are pretty important. You could also... <sighs> crap, holy crap. You could also take off the drone stick, and then it's just a drone. Actually, it kind of looks cool. It just looks... <laughs> Things look giant, so, uh, yeah. Oh no, Spider-Man's head is rolling down. Roll down. Alright, I'll, I'll be right back, guys. Psych, I'm still right here. Okay, anyways. Uh, yeah, so that is the drone. Um, I forget what the drones look like in the plane set. But yeah, that is my first Spider-Man Far From Home review. You might be wondering why it's a minifigure pack. Just cause. Um... I will review the other Spider-Man sets. Don't worry. Those are still a thing. Um, anyways, yeah. So that is the Spider-Man Far From Home minifigure pack. I got it at Legoland for 15 bucks. Uh, I don't think it's at, like, Walmart or Target. Yeah, it's not at Walmart or Target, or else I would already have it. Because, I mean, it's freaking bad. Um... So, yeah. Um, yeah, so that is it for the review. Hope you enjoyed. Remember, it's at Lego Store or Lego Lands only. And also, I will give you a sneak, creak, sneak peek of the next Lego review that isn't the Spider Man Far From Home set, so it's a new set. Okay, there's your sneak preview. Goodbye.